What's up, my sugar booze? How y'all doing? Okay, so I was coming to y'all. This is just a reminder video for some of y'all. I know I didn't tell y'all exactly what we was going to be doing um, this Saturday. But I did let y'all know um, on a community post that this Saturday, um, March 12th at 7 p.m., we will be having a sip and paint. Now, let me say this. If we start at 7.30, that's just mean, that means that I'm going to just be waiting on somebody. So, I'm hoping that we can start at 7 o'clock. But if 7.30, y'all, just be patient with me, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, she show up or whatever and be on time. All right. So, um... Yeah, so I just want to. Sh okay, so I'm gonna tell y'all what we're gonna do. Be doing. We're gonna be doing another little paint session, little activity, having a good time. Okay, so sip and paint at the same thing, but just a different form of it. Um, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be painting masks. All right. So what you're gonna go to the store and look for. If you're gonna do this with me, I need for you to leave a comment down below and let me know that you're gonna be doing this with me. Now, I have got my family together again and they're gonna be coming and they join us while we do this the um the little painting party, okay? So um just leave a comment down below. Y'all, it um, please leave a comment, and let me know because it helps me to know who's gonna be watching and who's gonna be, you know, doing this with us. I like to know with me, I like to know who gonna be who actually is painting with me, okay? So this the thing. If you got your acrylic paint right, you can use that on your mask. Um but what you have to do is you're going to have to go and buy you this, um, it's called fabric medium. If you go to Hobby Lobby, Michaels, or any kind of craft store that y'all got, Joanne's, whatever, um, when you go there, tell them that you want you some fabric medium. What you do with fabric medium is you mix it with acrylic paint so you can use it on fabric. That acrylic paint that you have, if you just try to put it on fabric, it's going to be hard and stiff. So what the fabric medium do is it makes it flexible and stuff like that. You know, not hard. You know how paint get on stuff and it be all crunchy and stiff. Okay, so that's how it would be if you were just to put that regular paint that y'all got that we be doing our simple paint with um, on a mask. Or you could just go and find you different kind of paints and stuff like that. You might find them at a reasonable reasonable price. So this is what I'm gonna, I recommend you to do because they think they select. I, I found this out today because I don't never go on Hobby Lobby. But I went to Hobby Lobby to buy my stuff. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to uh, uh, look over in the other department where... On the other side of the store with all the stencils and other paints and stuff like if you was to do um painting uh what is it uh it's just the other side of the store with all the stencils all the paints all the other stuff not the wearable paints look on the other side because they be having a clearance section on the other side of the store and it be the wearable paints, but they put it on the other side. I guess because they don't be wanting you to get it or something. Why wouldn't you put the wearable paint in the wearable section? Why don't they have a clearance aisle for every section if that's what they want to do? But they ain't do they ain't do that. They took it and they put it way on the other side of the store. So anywho, y'all just check around for the clearance because you just you you be surprised that you find what you're looking for in another department of the store. And and it don't belong over there. All right. So anyway, I went to Hobby Lobby and got my stuff. So now I'm gonna give y'all an idea of what I got. I know that I'm late. I apologize, y'all. But I'm just I'm really just not going to the store and getting my stuff. I could have told y'all what we was gonna do, but I didn't want to come and tell y'all what we were doing, and I didn't uh, have an idea or uh, a visual of you know the type of stuff that you would use because y'all I'm coming up with these ideas for us to do fun stuff, but I don't know what to look for my own self. Okay, so. I went out to the store today. Today is actually Thursday, y'all. And I went out to the store today. And I went and I uh, bought some different stuff. All right, so little. And if it look kitty, it does not matter, okay? It's just the point of you. Is If it's for fabric, okay, roll with it. All right. But y'all can get a little decorative. Y'all might want to put y'all some little gems on there with some fabric glue and all that stuff. That's a good idea. Maybe, we might, maybe I'll do that another time. But uh, anywho, so... 
I found some of this right here. This one here is called Scribbles and it's neon paint. And it actually come with a roller. I ain't worried about the roller. Only thing I wanted was the paint. Okay. And then, and it was on, it's normally $12.99, but I got it on sale for $3.24. I don't know what it is about they 24 and folds at that store, but they love folds. But, uh, so I got this right here and it come with six colors and $3.24, honey. If they can't figure out what the color they want to use out of this right here, I'm so I'm sorry for them. Okay. So I got that right there. That's just a that's just regular paint. It's a finger paint with a roller with a roller. So you can use your brush with this. Get you some stencils, any kind of stencils that you want to use, freehand, whatever. It's just a point of just just relaxing. Relaxing, having you a drink, have a good time, and also sharing what you did with me so that I can see it and I can share it with the other family members. Alright. So I got two of those. $3.24. That stuff is expensive, y'all. You see, it was $12.99. Honey, I jumped on. <laughs> Try. Okay, you better make it make sense. So, and then I was also like, I was like, I don't want to mess up all my paints that I got, you know, for my canvas boards and stuff like that. So, that's why I really was like, okay, let me just find something. And I okay, I walked in there for about a good hour, hour and a half, something like that, looking for, you know, different kind of paints and stuff like that. But I happened to stumble upon this when I was finna go to the checkout. And it was right there, right where I was at, on the little end cap, hanging up, and right with other clearance stuff. So, I got two of those right there. Then I got, okay, so this, I got this one here. Now, this was regular price. This one, this right here is what you call puffy paint. When you paint with it, it bubbles up. You know what I'm saying? You see what I'm talking about? It, it bubbles up. It'll say dimensional fabric. If you see anything say dimensional or something like that, you know it's the puffy paint. The, it kind of like bubbles up. It stands up like 3D. It's not flat. So, I got some of this. I got some puffy paint. This was $19.99 for this now, y'all. Now, I don't know if it's cheaper anywhere else, but next time, I'm going to go check the other fabric, other um crafting stores and stuff like that instead of Hobby Lobby to compare prices and stuff like that on their arts and craft stuff. I got a stencil right here. And I figured the letters are small enough to do the mask with. So I got that stencil. I didn't get no other kind of stencils, uh, like, you know, for drawing and stuff like that. Little designs, honey. They better. Child, they don't know how to make flour. They better learn how to make one to that day, okay? But anyway, I got this other stencil, and it was on sale for a dollar and twenty-four cent. And it's like an adhesive stencil, and you stick it on, and it's it say that it's reusable. You can peel it off, put it on, peel, you know, I don't know how many times, but it's it's a stencil. All right, so I got that. Then I got some fabric markers. Now these wasn't on sale either. They was five ninety nine. So I got some fabric markers, and they have fabric markers of all different kinds. But this right here was the cheapest fabric markers that I found um, that I can use or whatever. So most of this stuff right here it says to let dry for four hours, and then you can wash it after seventy two hours, if I'm not mistaken. And you have to pre-wash your mask. So, you're going to need you some blank mask. Get you some light color mask, dark color mask, whatever. Whatever you want to go with. It's on you. You do what you want to do. I also found these right here. This was the first things that I had found, y'all, when I was in the wrong section of the store. They had these right here. These is normally $5.99. This is paint. And this is the, it says, it's a, uh, this one right here is fab, just regular soft fabric paint. And it was on sale for a dollar and forty nine cent. So I got some of that. That's a neon color. I got a uh, do some right here, and it also it's a brush on fabric paint. Then I got a silver color, and this one right here was a dollar and forty nine cent too. And the regular price of this is six ninety nine. Y'all, this stuff ain't cheap. And then I got. Uh, this one right here is a gold one. It come in a little tube like this with a little point. 
tip that way you can you know use it like that or whatever and this one oh yeah this one is say dimensional now the normal price of this is 549 but they had it on sale for a dollar and 37 cent so then they got this one i don't know if this glow in the dark or what dazzling glitter it's a glitter one though and it was a dollar and 37 cent but the regular price of it was 4.99 so i got that right there and it's like a little whitish looking color with glitter in it so i got that i had got two of the gold ones two of the gold ones and then this is another one. Oh, it's another gold brush on glitter. So I got this one right here. So this is the stuff that I got. I, I, and don't forget, you need your mask. So that's the stuff that I got. Um, you're going to need you some brushes. If you already got brushes, use the ones that you got. Wash them out, honey. Make them do what they do, okay? But, yeah. So I didn't want to make this video and come too early. I mean, I didn't want to tell y'all about what we were doing too early without... A visual like I said so now y'all have a visual now y'all know what you need now y'all know what to go look for things to have things that you should you know but whatever it is that you get make sure it's safe fabric if you don't go and get that stuff that I said which is called uh, uh, fabric medium m-e-d-i-u-m fabric medium and um the cost of that was was $6.99 for a bottle of that. I think the bottle was by this tall, but it wasn't flat like that. But the bottle was like this tall of the fabric medium. And like I said, you mix it with your acrylic paint to make it where it's a fabric paint. Okay. So, and look up a video if you go and buy that stuff so you can see how to use it. Basically, you just, you know, dip a little bit of that, mix it with the paint. You know, just like if you was trying to mix two colors, you know, supposed to be like two parts of the of regular paint to one part of that me fabric medium paint or whatever. But, try. I ain't have time for all that. And I know they wasn't going to want to do all that. So, that's why I went this route. And I went this route to keep from messing up my other paints that way. I don't have to keep going and rebuying other stuff. I just want to add on to my collection of things instead of, you know, dabbing into stuff that I'm using for other stuff. You know, so trying to stretch it out even though I'm spending more money. But at the end of the day, it's all for the fun. I am, I enjoy doing it. And I'm glad that y'all enjoy it. And I'm glad enjoying it. And I'm glad that y'all is actually doing it. And I appreciate all of y'all for y'all lo love and y'all support. So, until the next video, this your girl Tiana, I Can Only Be Me. If you would like to join the membership, the link will be in the description box. Uh, the cost of it is only $4.99 a month. I try to do two activities a month, if I can, which this one right here will be the first one. And um, we might... Yeah, this yeah this one right here be the, will be the first one, not the second one. I can't think of what date that will be, but... If it run into some something that I got going on, I might have to put it off a little bit further, okay? But anyway, I love y'all. Peace, love, and many, many blessings to all of y'all. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace, love, and many, many blessings. Mwah!